Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to the 21st of August. Today is a Tuesday. Still see some blue in the skies, but it's always hard to tell how smoky it is in the morning for some reason. Well, little woman, yes, oh, <laughs> it's back to the old grind again. Yep. It's not, you know, not it didn't, bad, yeah, most of the way here. In fact, we were saying, well, it's not getting any better as we're going south. Yeah. But actually, it doesn't look too terribly bad here in Van Chulo land. Yep. All right, Mama, I'm going to head on down and start my day. All right, I will see you at the water. All right, love you, see you, bye. <laughs> um, look what's back as a trade-in. You remember me riding this? That yellow tape means it's been traded back in. Hmm. So you want to know just how cruel the world can be? Over the weekend, I decided I was going to buy that Moto Guzzi Grizo. That Grizo right there. They sold it on Saturday. Now it's now it's back for an oil leak, and uh, we're not a Moto Guzzi dealer, needless to say. But I'm not sure. It looks like something's on it more than something leaking out of it. I, it's hard to see it out here in the bright sun. But to make it even worse, they gave it to me to to ride and, uh, and figure out what's going on with it. That's just cruel. I told them, if you see me down there sniveling, wiping my eyes, turn away. You don't want to see a grown man cry. God dang it. After I showed you guys the Harley, I was, I was going to go up, get the key for this thing, roll it downstairs so they wouldn't sell it and uh, call the credit union and say uh, I want this here motorcycle but guess what it wasn't up front and the funny thing is I walked up that ramp and walked right past it it's cold it's been sitting here since I don't know sometime yesterday or something that's just cruel that gumming so it appears to be leaking from the lower part of the uh, manifold gasket there I've seen some wetness up here around the crankcase breather but that could be just the wind blowing it up if you look very carefully around that it's not coming down it looks like it's coming up but you can see initially I thought it might have been a head gasket but uh, it appears to be coming from there I'm gonna clean it up real good here right quick and and unfortunately, <laughs> take it for a ride. You can see where it's been sp spitting and spattering. You can see traces of it running back. So uh, whatever it is, it's it's enough. It, you don't have hardly any miles on it. I don't think you rode it very far at all. So uh, let me clean it up. We'll take it for a ride. Make me snivel and we wheeze a little bit here. That, this thing just irks me, you know, and I was even Even telling Kelly I said you watch they'll sell that thing over the weekend but Usually Moto Guzzi sit around this store forever But oh well What's done is done Really wanted that thing Gonna Break my heart I gotta take this thing for a, <laughs> for a ride One of the things I, uh, on the video when I test rode this thing, I got a whole bunch of people going, you gotta get, you gotta get way on it. You gotta rev the heck out of it. Um, when I rode this thing, it was not my motorcycle. And as I'm riding it now, it's not my motorcycle. Would you want to come to our dealership, buy a motorcycle, and then see some Yahoo long dog in the heck out of it out of the motorcycle that you're now riding I don't think so nor would anybody else I wouldn't want that I'd freak out so no I didn't do it then and I'm not gonna do it now there's nothing in the test ride that requires me to just romp the heck out of one of these things Oh, 
Why did they give it to me to look at? We're going to take a little different route today. Oh man, this thing is super, super nice. Mama, why? <laughs> I went on the floor to roll that thing downstairs and get the right up done on it so I get up. Send a write up to the credit union and say, I want that one. That's one I'm going to take. Oh, this thing just glides down the freeway like a dream. That little fly screen up there just works absolutely fantastic. I do have my shield down, and I know this Sony mic uh, muffles quite a bit, but uh, you would just, all you'd hear is just a, a wind if I didn't. In fact, uh, the mic is, it can only take so much noise, so you, you might be getting some of that anyway. It, but there's you know I ride things that just excite the heck out of me and I I kind of lose my mind I'd have a, a shop literally you couldn't move in there full of motorcycles if if I bought everything I freaked out over that and eventually you're gonna <laughs> exceed your ability to pay for things you know but you know things are getting paid off so things get paid off it's uh, time to look at something different you know <laughs> but this has been a good price and um i got many many years of joy out of this gal but uh, the milk has been spilt there's no sense of crying over it what's done is done still doesn't uh, make it any easier to Think about the one that got away. I do like that wide glide down there though, but it's, I think it's a 2011 and, you know, it's, uh, I'm sure we probably gave too much for it. And, oh, 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 she was thinking about it. She was thinking on it. You see that? Looked right at me. It's still about to pull out. It looks like it's leaking around that manifold, so you think you'd have a gassy smell, but it's just this weird texture, and it has like an odd smell. It doesn't smell like engine oil, and it doesn't smell like, you know, fuel, which would And if you don't know this, fuel that slowly leaks will have an oily look to it. I mean, if you catch it as it's happening, but as it builds up, it has this weird oily texture to it. character it's so cool it is so amazingly cool other people says it's mandatory that this thing have ABS. Dude, I live in the United States. It was not mandatory for a motorcycle to have ABS. Not yet. I'm sure it's coming. But uh, absolutely, positively, without a questionable doubt, this thing does not have ABS. I'm getting a lot of comments about that as well. No ABS. So it's my motorcycle and I didn't care about putting a flat spot somewhere. I'd 
I'd uh, show you a little front wheel drag, and then I'd show you a little rear wheel lockup. Prove it to you. Again, not my motorcycle to abuse. Thanks, Volvo, for not pulling out. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being motorcycle aware. back up on the rack here and take a look see and see if anything's a weeping. I have a feeling I'm not gonna find anything. Alright. Thanks for uh, coming along for ride number two on the motorcycle that I was gonna buy today. <laughs> Yeah, buddy, you snooze, you lose. How many times that's happened? All right. All right. She is a leaker. It's leaking from that lower manifold bolt. But a simple thing. No big deal. That right there is right where that bike needs to be sitting. Not because it's broken, I'm waiting for a part. It's because I rode it to work today. <laughs> Unfortunately, that'll never be. Here's another epically cool motorcycle. Got the TKC 80s on there. Yeah, man. I sure love these Urban GSs. Had people ask me if I'd take it off road. I'd, well, yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'd probably get a, a skid pan for it though first. Before I did anything serious, I that don't my DR doesn't even <laughs> doesn't even have a skid pan on it. None of the street bikes that I take off road. I don't worry about that stuff. I just don't take them places. Yeah, you could look at something and go, uh, not a good idea. You know, I wouldn't do anything serious with this thing off road, but I would absolutely take it off road though. Heck yeah. So I ended my day off spiders <laughs> oh man that's such a crying shame yeah that one's gonna hurt well woman I don't know if I'm just getting used to it it's definitely hazy out here but I don't know it's got to the point I just don't even pay attention to it no more at least it doesn't smell like smoke mm -hmm. then again I may be just used to it. Yeah, that's true. But anyway, let's head for the homestead. All right, how about? Without my Moto Guzzi. That's oh, all right. I'm so bummed. I know. All right, let's head on north. All right. That's something you don't want to see. So the fire was up at the rest area. So what we always call the rest area hill it's like the middle of that mountain pass probably the lowest spot in the mountain that's probably why they ran the freeway over there but anyway it was that it was at the rest area some dingbat probably threw out a, a cigarette or something crazy it's amazing that people still do that when they know the whole state is a tinder box well hello there YouTube How's everybody doing today? Thought I was gonna have a fantastic day. I know you did. Little did I know. Man, never in a million years did I think they'd sell that Grizo over the weekend. Didn't even worry about it. Didn't even think about it. Pondered over it, thought about it, decided to do it. Went up there to grab it, to roll it downstairs, to get it off the, out of the public view. And she was already gone. I guess they sold it on Saturday. Dang it, man. Literally, I could just scream over that. Man, the pondering and all the stuff I did over this thing, you know, that's, you know, chunk of change, you know. Another motorcycle, another insurance you gotta pay, and. Oh well. Dang. Man. So, I asked about that uh, wide glide. 
I thought that thing was a 13 or something. It's VIN code B, so it's a 2011. And um, what I can get it for is above above low book. So, I don't know. It's, it's got 15,000, almost 16,000 miles on it. I don't know. That thing was really, really fun to ride. And since I rode it, the guy put some, uh, well, I talked about that, he put the backrest and the shocks on it, but anyway, that's, that's the, the gist of my day, is, uh, I snoozed and lose. All I had to do was say something. I didn't even have to put money on it. All I had to do was just say something. But, Poor hot bath. Yeah. <laughs> and that thing's going to sit down there with me until the part gets here, so it's just torture. Absolute torture. I'm sorry. But, that's the way it goes sometimes. You need to uh, decide fast and jump quick. You can't have everything yeah. that you want in this life. Yeah, that's a fact. But one that's just right there at the fingertips. <laughs> and just gone. I'm sorry. Yeah. But anyway, uh, sunset's at 8.10 tonight. And it's uh, probably 10 till 8 now. And maybe 5 to 8. It's, uh, well, don't see the sun anymore. Smoke's not quite as bad, but it's still pretty heavy. Or maybe yeah. I'm just getting used to it and don't yeah. pay attention. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to roll out on you. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And I hope your Wednesday or Thursday are amazing. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. Maybe another Grizo. Or maybe the guy get tired or changes mind and back out of the deal or something. <laughs> No, I don't wish that on the guy. It's just no. it's just simple fix. Yeah. But oh well. All right. Such then, is life. Yep. Everything happens for a reason. Oh yeah. There so might be gotta something move better forward. out there for you. Might be that new 2014 Street Glide Special or 114 2019 model Street Glide Special with a high definition display. I didn't even told you. It's all right. But anyway. Nah, that's that, He's that's crazy. That's like buying an automobile, that thing. But anyway, we're gonna roll out on you. All right. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Thanks. Now, sorry for my crying about the grease all day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, bye now.